How's it going, my truant people? Dr. Slacking, the Slacking Doctor, back with the first episode of our Sword and Shield playthrough on the channel. Uh, assuming all goes well, I should be uploading my full first playthrough of these games. I'm going to be looking off the side because I don't have a two monitor setup or anything like that. So the game is on my TV. There is a huge amount of lag on my computer when I'm recording, so I just cannot play it on that monitor either. So I have to play it on my TV. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to kind of be looking at the side like this the whole way through this. I will try and look over at relevant points, but we're here. We are here with sword, uh, or with shield specifically. I, I'm like stumbling over my words and grinning because I have I was supposed to get this game early. I didn't. I then ordered it from the postman, and I've been sat all day by the front door, pretty much just like staring out the window, like where is the postman? Why isn't he here yet? Uh, it's half past two in the afternoon, and it's finally arrived. And I am, um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. I got football training tonight, so we've got a few hours we can kind of get in before I have to go play football and stuff. But, oh man, I'm so excited. So I should say, before we get into this, please, I beg of you, please, 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 please do not spoil anything from the leaks in the comment section down below. Don't tell me when things evolve. Don't tell me anything. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to say this at the beginning of every episode just in case. But yeah, please do not spoil anything. Uh, one other thing I should note is that my Elgato is not perfect, so at times it might drop out for me, not for you guys, and I'll just say, like, if something's happening, I can't see it right now. Uh, but hopefully that hasn't been happening too much and shouldn't happen too much. Too much. I did kind of test it. Uh, and the other thing to say is that I'm listening to the audio through my computer because the Elgato isn't putting the audio onto my TV for whatever reason. So I can't hear the audio through my TV, which means I'm listening to the, the computer, which means the lag that I was speaking about on the computer is happening in my ears. So... You will see a Pokemon on the screen, there might be three or four seconds, then I will get to hear its cry. So if there's like a delayed response to anything like that, I just, I would rather have delayed audio than no audio when I'm playing through this game. So this is how I'm having to make do. Obviously, if I wasn't recording it, I would just have normal audio and stuff. But regardless, let's, let's get into this. Let's just go because, man, I am so excited. So, um, we've got the character start here. Also, before we do this, uh, I want to give you a huge shout out to my boy, uh, Manib, who helped me try and get this game early. I wasn't able to, but he did really try and help me to get this game early. So uh, a massive thank you to him for his assistance in that. Um, anyway, let's get into this. So usually uh, when we do playthroughs on the channel, I use Doc as my kind of in-game name. But I'm just going to use my real name this time. My real name is Matthew. Most of you know this by now. Uh, if you watch the Wi-Fi Draft League content on the channel, then you'll know this. If you're new to the channel... Um, Hello, thank you for joining me on this playthrough. I mostly do focus on draft league content these days, a little bit of competitive with Smogon stuff as well, possibly. Maybe some Wi-Fi battles too. I don't know exactly what's coming in Sword and Shield, but uh, at the very least, I will be doing a lot of draft league content. So if you're into draft leagues, uh, then for sure stick around after this uh, playthrough. I am also not one of the people that's really riled up about the dex cuts. That guy, look at that facial hair. That's my dad. It's actually my dad. Um, should I get my hair cut like that? Definitely not. Um, I've forgotten exactly what I was going to say. He looks like a weird Skrillex with a beard. What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so if, you, if you're if you interested in drafting stuff, and you, then if you want to stick around after the playthrough, whatever, if you're just here for the playthrough, then thank you for, for joining me. Uh, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. I love this guy. He's definitely my dad. Why didn't you come home from the shop, dad? Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. The f what is that? What? <laughs> what is that? Excuse me? That is, that's not a Pokemon. It looks like it's made of like food. I want to eat it. Is that weird? It, it looks slightly slightly delicious does he have like a slightly like is it the shadowing or does he have a slightly like beer belly on him he i don't know if he's like poking his belly out or if he's developing a little bit of a beer gut i want this guy send me fan out of this guy with a proper beer gut i don't know why i want to see it i just want to see it uh thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call pokemon yes pokemon are all around us in the sea in the sky and even with us in our towns See, I'm looking on the one on the computer. Yeah, mine's cutting off. I've got a slight crop right at the bottom of the text. I shouldn't miss anything, but you guys have just a few pixels extra, like, below the text that I can't see because of the way it's working for uh, reasons beyond my knowledge. Anyway, uh, yes, Pokemon all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even in our towns. And those in the towns, and those of us who choose to raise and train them, uh, Pokemon, do battle and compete. 
I love that little elephant, little Nelly. We call Pokemon trainers. So, I, uh, how much do I know about this game? Oh, but get, I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. I know most of the Pokemon that have been officially reviewed. I haven't watched trailers. I didn't want to see gameplay until I played the game because I wanted to see how beautiful this game is, and it is stunning. I got to play the demo at the Pokemon Center in London, so that was my first exposure to actual gameplay footage of this game because I was playing it. But that was only on handheld, and it didn't do it justice. Like, this looks so much better on my TV. This does look looks really nice with associated graphics and stuff. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Sick name. Now turn your gaze to the Gala region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for the ch for champion Leon's exhibition match. So I don't know too much about the story, the characters, or anything like that. Like, I've kind of seen the unveiled Pokemon. I have seen this dude, like, briefly, but I don't know, like, anything about him. Uh, I don't know anything from the leaks, really. I might have seen, like, the name of... Like, this thing has, like, a Galarian form or something, like, once or twice. It's kind of spoiler like that. But I didn't see pictures or nothing, really. Uh, and then once or twice today already, people are kind of putting spoilers in their thumbnails, and I'm kind of seeing. Oh, my God, there's so much text going on. They're having an exhibition match. You know I don't lose battles. Rayhan. Who is Rayhan? I probably missed who this dude was. His... And I know about this stuff, right? And I also gather this stuff is incredibly broken and competitive. And that's what I was going to say. Most of the things I know about this game... Are from videos about competitive Pokemon, about the items, mechanics, stuff like that, because that was stuff that I did want to be spoiled on without watching the trailers. I didn't want to see the footage, but I needed to keep up with the items and stuff. Being a, a player who tries to compete, um, a competitive player seems like a strong. I love this house. Um, seems strong term, but yeah. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm just gonna enjoy this. I was really conflicted about even recording this because there was a part of me that just wanted to enjoy this like in my own time and and this is going to be a very leisurely playthrough like i'm not going to be rushing because i just want to soak this in uh, a huge thank you to john jr who did the logo for the series which you'll see in the uh, thumbnail i saw he was uh starting up a website for his graphics and stuff and i reached out to him say can you really quickly turn me around a logo because i haven't got one i didn't think i was going to use one but hey if you can that'd be great and he did so huge thank you to him hop hello hello look at this guy oh this is hop okay Oh, that your f All right. Okay, like this I suppose I'm supposed to read like British dialogue. Oh, that your flash new phone, Matthew. But like is that? Like, we we can speak grammatically. I've heard that they've tried to make some of the English, what well, some of the dialogue more like English, I guess. Is that? We we, we just... Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. I love the sheep. Look at the sheep. So I kind of knew that this sheep had like been doing the rounds on Twitter and stuff, but it looks really cool in the game. Like I kind of avoided Twitter for the past few months, obviously. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be his famous Charizard pose. With his famous Charizard pose. But uh Yeah, I, there's been stuff that I just haven't been able to avoid. I'm all over the shot. This is terrible commentary. I'm just so excited. Hop, didn't you ex didn't expect to see you here today, dear? Isn't this the big day? I'm mum looks sick. Kinda actually, like, my mum actually would wear wellies and stuff like that in the garden, so that's quite accurate to be frank. Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Matthew. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway, very modern of you. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, Was Lee the champion or the other dude? No, the other dude was like Raihan or something, so Lee's the, this is a champion's brother. His coat's pretty sick, I like his coat. Come with me, Matthew. I, I don't hate our character design, but I don't love it either. Come with me, Matthew. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. So we need to change like the hair color and stuff. My hair's a lot darker. We need to change the clothes up a bit because I'm not feeling those. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, the character design's pretty cool. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. I already read that bit. I'm reading stuff twice. I'm just too excited. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just all over the shop. I am all over. Are they ripped jeans or is that a leaf on my knee? I don't like those jeans. Uh, why would you buy things that are ripped? Buy things that are whole. Look at the little munchlax. I didn't know Katie was in this game. <laughs> oh, shout out to Katie. She loves munchlax. Uh, actually, Katie is in this game. She's sobble, though. Uh, which is, as you'll have seen from the thumbnail, um, we are we are taking sobble. We are taking... I, I have my sobble mug over there. You can't see it. It's on the floor over there. Uh, in its box, so it's not just on the floor loose. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where to look or what to think or how to be. I've never played Pokemon on my television. The character moves a bit too fast. I, I'm probably going to regret saying that because there are probably going to be times where I want him to move faster. But is there like a walk? If I use the... No, I can't use the like directional pad for like a walk 
I have to just gently. He just walks a little bit fast for my liking. Like I want to soak it in. Um, it's cool. It's 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 undoubtedly cool. Uh, you grabbed your dad's old bag. I have a dad. I knew he was coming back. I knew he hadn't forgotten me. Yeah, I don't I don't fuck with the hat. We gotta lose the hat. Although I used to wear a hat kind of like that in like sixth form. I think it was in sixth form. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. You can save your progress by selecting Save from the X menu. You can also check your location, destination, town map. All right, so, all right, cool. Do we already? Can we already see the whole map? Because I don't really. Okay, the the map just looks like <laughs> it's so green. Oh, green and pleasant land. Oh, you have to love it. And it's laid out like Britain. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. So again, I didn't want to know what the region was based on or anything like that, but I just couldn't avoid it. There was there was spoilers everywhere for that kind of stuff. You you can't. Much as I didn't watch the official trailers, I couldn't avoid official information because no one tries to censor that. No one tries to hide that because it's just not seen as a spoiler. And I get that. Like I I get that I'm one of the few that was even avoiding trailers. Oh, don't you look like a treat? I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? Remember, they're going to forest with two of you. It's not really a bag. Like this, it's like a briefcase on a strap like it's kind of it's actually kind of a cool idea to be honest i kind of fuck with it but i bet it's uncomfortable as hell having that on your back how do i get out oh it's here <laughs> <laughs> through the door that's how i was waiting for you better head outside see this is something that really bothered me in the last pokemon game and i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about this i really hope that everything isn't checkpointed with flags because one thing that drove me insane in gen 7 which was by far and away my least favorite pokemon game to play through even if i enjoyed the meta game whatever it was I hate uh, making Pokemon like a checkpoint driven game. For me, like I love playing through Pokemon at a really leisurely pace, or like an exploration game. I'm gonna be real, I don't know if it's my TV, but these, like the graphics don't look insane. Like the, the artwork looks beautiful. I love like the stylized style of it and stuff, but it, it I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't, it does look a little bit rough compared to like other like AAA titles that I've seen on, um, it is cool that you can talk to Pokemon. Uh, AAA and they're kind of in the overworld. Uh, I've seen screenshots of stuff again. Um, but yeah, I... I it, it doesn't... It looks stunning to me because I, I love Pokemon. But if I didn't love Pokemon and I saw this, I wouldn't be like, wow, that is the most beautiful game I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Haha, <laughs> have a look at you, Matthew. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. I have fun with it. I like it. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's a bag as big as Snorlax. What? Oh, I get you. Okay. I'm not really reading the dialogue, to be honest. I'm not super invested right now. Oh, Wooloo, but what's it doing there? It wants me to catch it. It's using rollout, clearly. Alright, we just... How long do we watch this for? Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now, you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. Hmm. That legit sounded like a sheep. That's like an actual recording of a sheep. Now that's taken care of. How about it, Matthew? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag. He has the sheep. The sheep rolls with him. I, that makes me so happy. Ah, oh, this literally... This genuinely does feel like Britain, though. This reminds me of when I was living up in Lancaster. This really reminds me of the little village I lived in up in Lancaster. Ah, oh. oh, okay. This is getting me all patriotic. Stirring up feelings of home. The power of science is amazing. Is this guy? Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? It is science guy. It is. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What you got in the garage? Is it garage or is it stick? I've seen people like as well, like, yeah, people have said that you can spin. Oh, I don't like the hand gesture. That is a bit extra. That's not very British. We're very kind of dour and serious. It's a well used barbecue. The grill is perfectly seasoned. Oh, and my Elgato cut out is back again. I don't know if you guys see the cut, but if you didn't see it there, then you don't see the cuts, but that was one time where it did cut out. This house is mahoosive. Who the f lives here? Like, how much money are we. Oh, of course! Of course, this is where my BFF lives. <sighs> Why do I have to have the rich friend and I be the peasant? Can't I get this enough in real life? God damn it. Mum, is he here? Uh, there you are, last top. Oh, and you've brought along Matthew. Hello, dear. 
Yeah, 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 but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? That was a big dude. He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's, that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. Wedgehurst sounds like a place as well. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with me, Matthew. You've still got my... You've still never met my big bro, right? If we're like childhood friends and I've never met your brother, that seems off to me. You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I mean, I know he's pretty busy, but still. I'll wait for you on the route. Like... So I grew up in a little village, which I'm assuming this is, like, based on. I know all of my, like, best friends, big brothers and stuff. Like, that would be very odd to not know their, their families and stuff. <laughs> Look at the pictures and the mantelpiece and stuff. Like a proud family. Little purloin here. Hello, mate. Uh, I don't really know. Are they supposed to be, like, bread rolls? Yeah. Cobs, Ben, if you're watching. Look at those lovely cobs on the side there. God. Damn it, trying to tell me what a cop is. Like, he's from the Midlands. He doesn't know. Hello. To Hop, his brother is a superhero. Who are you? Are you their dad? Or are you just in the house? Granddad? Dad? How old's that mum? You're either a granddad or you're doing well in your old age. Fair play to you. <laughs> no! We're not going down that road. Um, or he's just some random bloke in the house. Ah, there's an old lady. Definitely granddad then. Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Look at this artwork. This artwork is beautiful. I would have this in my house. It feels very British again. Although the windmill's a little bit Dutch. Do we look like clog wearers? Most of our windmills don't have sails anymore, like the Boston stump. They just have a... Uh, they're just a stump. Yeah, the sails have been taken off most of our windmills. Or a lot of them, anyway. I love this Krogan statue. Um, the Charizard like artwork and stuff and the Machamp and Gengar artwork is cool, but I would have that Krogan statue in my house. If someone wants to make me a wood carving... So the signing fan art, I've changed my mind. Send me that. Oh, there's a pyramid. Illuminati confirmed. I knew it. I knew it. Is that a footballer? It looks like a footballer. That's pretty sick, actually, how they've done that. Almost looks like a, an old, like, Cristiano Ronaldo Manchester United poster. I have a signed Ronaldo poster. It's one of my prized possessions. It looks a little bit like that. I'm not a United fan. I just love Ronaldo. Um, so, yeah, that, that almost looks like... They've done this so well. I, I love this. This game is like the details and stuff are really, really beautiful. And it feels like, I, I know that I'm getting caught up in like the Britishness of it, but it does feel quite British. They have a cat bowl for the purloin, I've just realised. That is adorable. That is adorable. Kitchen roll on the side. Do other countries use kitchen roll things like this? I assume they do. I assume that's not like a mutually British thing, but it seems weird to see it in a Pokemon game. I don't know, it feels like a detail that they've specifically added in. Like, oh, look at these crazy Brits with their kitchen roll. This is where everyone in the comment section is like, what's kitchen roll? And I find out that it isn't a thing in other countries. Let's get a move on. Don't tell me what to do. I only remember, Matthew, just because you're richer than me. Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooly with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Matthew. Ha 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 ha, I live in the big house, I've got a Pokemon. So we'll stick clear of the tall, the tall grass as we go. Yeah, I don't like you, Hop. I actually kind of do. But mo mainly because I feel like I get to ride in your cool car if I stay friends with you. What? That's outrageous. See you later. This is beautiful. Can we do that again? Look at the way it just like comes into view. I'm going to watch it on that screen. It's so beautiful. The way it just like looms into view. Oh. Oh. And the kind of like, I don't know what you call it. Like the white white kind of rendered house on the right hand side there very like Stratford very Shakespearean kind of uh, Warwickshire style really beautiful I f I, this is this is gonna be so good it's gonna be so good if the Pokemon designs and I've heard the Pokemon designs are amazing if Pokemon designs are good I love this region already like I adore this region already I'm gonna play through this game so many times oh that Charizard looks sick that looks sick. Hello, hello, Wedgeworth. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you. Worst is a little bit German, though, isn't it? You know, like curry verst. It's a little bit, a little bit German, a little bit German. He could have called it Wedge Thorpe. That would have been more British. <laughs> it's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokémon and never shy from battle. Look at the fat dude with his mustache. Oh, this flat cap. I love it. I love it. Then come challenge me for the champion title. Can I make myself look like him? That is future me. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills, just like you taught us to, Lee. 
Is that that kid's lagging a bit? I think. Maybe. Wouldn't swear to it. I spent 20 minutes just doing this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is gonna be a very slow playthrough. But that guys, Pang is belly. He loves it. He loves it, pound his belly. Oh, that's my dad. They're all my dad. But that Charizard of yours is cheap. My dad isn't even fat, to be honest. I just want him to be like that. That's who my dad should be. Can I swap my dad for him? <laughs> but that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Oh, God. I'm enjoying this. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon will be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of all challenges. I've added the word all in there. To fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Gala's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. I think he's supposed to look like a footballer, but he really doesn't. Like, he just, this isn't how, this is like if you asked a Japanese person to say what they think a footballer would be like, and this is what happened. Like, this isn't, he doesn't look British at all. In the end, like, his clothing, nothing. No. That's, he's funny, though. My wish is for Gala's trainers to work together to the strongest in all the world. What are his patches on his coat? What is that? Or on his coat, his cape. Oh, I enjoy his design, but it's it's kind of ridiculous. Groar. I didn't need to read that. Yep. Lee! Hop! Not sure about this beard he's got going on. The gap in the middle. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Right, so an inch and a quarter, it's probably been like, what? A year, maybe? Six months? Kids grow like a few inches a year, don't they? Right, I think. So, if he was back like a year ago, how did I not see him? Or have I just moved here? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long. How do you know how much you've grown? I don't know when I've grown an inch and a quarter. I'm 25 years old, I don't grow anymore, but that's not the point. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it, you must be Matthew, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gallas Regent, so I don't understand the fact that I've never met him before. It just doesn't sit right to me. I'm the Gallas Regent's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Does he have a lion? Leon, lion. Come on, Lee. And you, Matthew. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. That hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Uh, uh, we'll see about that. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, and don't, but don't fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in the gala, everyone in gala can have a champion time. Look at him posing. Yeah, it's, just a bit, it's quite flamboyant, to be honest. We're all far too stiff and boring to be that exciting. He comes across more American with all the kind of posing and stuff. Like, that's very NFL, isn't it? Like, doing all the backflips and stuff in the, in the... <laughs> I don't know what you call it in NFL. Tri tri zone. <laughs> That's not even anything you call it that in rugby. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Matthew and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. <laughs> a bit of advice. <laughs> it's showtime, everyone. I really hope he just gives us, like, words of advice, which is just, like, stay true to yourself. Something that's completely useless, uh, rather than actually giving us Pokemon. Take a good look, you two. Oh, he is going to give us Pokemon. Sick. We get our first Pokemon from the champion. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. These these look cool, but I'm not... There it is. There's Katie. The most dramatic person in the whole world. Slash Pokemon. I, I'm not interested in any of you, but Sobble, get out of my way. I, I have to admit, these are my favorite. Like, obviously, I haven't seen... Please, please do not spoil anything about what they evolve into or anything. I haven't seen the evolutions... I have to admit, I could happily pick any of these in almost any other generation. Like, I I think they're all really good. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There's Katie. Oh, God. Look at his little feet going. All right, line up, everyone. Yeah, it's for me, like, as a trio, not knowing what anything about what they evolve into. As a starter trio, like, best since Gen 4, for sure. I love Gen 6 as well. Like, I love those stars. Oh, maybe Gen 6 was really good, actually. They're just good. Like, they're up there with things like Gen 4, where all the first evolutions are really good. Gen 6, where all the first evolutions are really good. Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. It's just Gen 5 and Gen 7 where the first trio weren't all really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But they are really good. Go on, your first pick. Oh, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo, after all. Yeah, no problem. Come here. Where you going, girl? Come here. How do I... Ah! There we go. That's the water type, Sobble. It adapts to anything, as surely as water flows. 
Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble? Yes! Yes, I am. You chose Sobble. Look at its stupid little hands. Look at its stupid little hands. I love it. Uh, I, I, normally I would call it Katie, but no, because I want to learn what the actual evolutions and stuff are called. Um, uh, and it's probably a boy because it's a star Pokemon. I didn't actually look, but it's probably a boy. If it's a girl now, I'm going to feel bad. So it'll be Subble for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Scorbunny. You're mine. I'll be aiming, I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. So I'm not going to nickname Pokemon throughout this playthrough because I want to learn the real names for things and that's the best way to do it in my opinion. Um, and I want to learn it as quickly as possible. I was going to apologize in advance for mispronunciations because there are going to be pronunciations which I'm going to get wrong because like I haven't, I'm not watching other people's videos and I'm not seeing these names. There are things that I've heard said like Wooloo, so I know that's Wooloo, Sobble, I know that's being pronounced Sobble. But of course we're as a community going to get pronunciations wrong. Um, until we can get the anime and stuff. Like, I remember uh, Nihiligo being all sorts of weird things when it was first released. And, uh, uh, yeah, so we'll have to wait and see. I bet you will be hot. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Matthew. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. So, yeah, if there's something that, like, the way I pronounce it really annoys you, then just, like, don't, whatever. So... Interestingly, he didn't take the starter that was good against me, which really sucks. Um, I kind of wanted him to take the grass one, but there we go. Uh, Grookey is adorable. Like, <sighs> I would be tempted to take Grookey. Really tempted. More than Scorbunny, for sure. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon. Let's eat. Uh... If it's the evening, it would be tea's ready. Tea is ready, because we are clearly not in the south, all right? From the architecture, I can tell we're at least Midlands or North, which means that we would say tea is ready, not dinner is ready. Dinner is what you have in the middle of the day. Tea is what you have in the evening. Come on, Game Freak. you got to work on this localization. Oh, it's disappointing. Is that a uh, b -b -b fletchling? The next day. He spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? Each their own. You two getting along all right, understanding one another, maybe even built up a bit of love. <laughs> yep. Of course I have, Lee. Matthew's made fast friends with his sub or two. I have. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. I should do different voices, but we'll I'm just excited right now. I didn't even think about that. If you think Matthew might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to be beat the unbeatable champion. I should do different voices. I'm sorry. I'm just very excited. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in a battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. It's kind of hard because I'm not really looking at the names, so I didn't even really know that we had changed the character until we had, until I read the word Hop. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on his first ever Pokemon battle of your life? In the first ever Pokemon battle of your life. Believe in your partner Pokemon and take care care for them too with all your heart. I need better glasses. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. I got this. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. You should definitely not read all of your older brother's magazines. That might be outdated now. We're probably not in the era of magazines anymore. Damn, I'm showing my age. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Especially not the ones under his bed. They're off limits. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop. His fringe is weird. Like, what's going on there? What's going on with his hair in general? Like, what was the thinking... Like, it's got, like, balls, and then it goes, like, up. But, like, what is what is going on with his hair? And why is it so, like, jelly-like? Yeah, they haven't exactly nailed hair. He's got... Has he got two Pokemon? Is he cheating? This piece of crap. Am I going to lose? Because he's got two Pokemon. Get it. All right, I can really hear the delay now. Like, I'm a long way behind on the sounds. Um, pound him. Get him. Nut him. Square in the face. Am I going to lose? I feel like I'm going to lose because he's a cheating bastard. A cheating bastard. This this, this is just standard. Standard. Nothing wrong with this. It's standard though. Nothing insane going on there, but it's pound. What did I expect pound to look like, I suppose? We leveled up to level six. That was incredibly easy. We'll learn war... Ah, okay, so it's kind of scripted. All right. 
It's not over yet. I've had another trustworthy ally to my team. Alright. Yeah, but I just got water gun because you're guaranteed to get enough experience to level up. And then... I didn't check the nature of my soul. Let's have a look. So, I, from my experience of the demo, this thing looked like it was going to be a special attacker. So, hopefully we got a decent nature. Uh... Is that minus speed plus special attack? Pretty quiet, yeah. Because that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're minus speed plus special attack. So I don't know if this thing is naturally fast. Um, but that works quite well, actually, if, it's, if it is a special attacker as, as it seemed to be from the demo. And maybe it evolves, it turns into a mixed attacker or whatever, but the plus special attack seems good. That seems like a good nature subble. I'll take that. I think you can change the natures now in this game, I think people have said. Again, like I said, I've watched coverage of, of uh, mechanics like that. But, uh, did you already know about type of Of course I did! Do you know who I am? I'm a very, very average Pokemon player. That's who I am. What a gun. I was only supposed to do this episode for half an hour, and we're already nearly there. In fact, you probably are there, because I didn't start the timer until after I'd done a very long intro. We should probably end after this, shouldn't we? I don't want to. I don't want to, because then I have to go and edit this and stuff, and I, I don't want to keep playing. God damn it. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Sobble are too much. You got 400 something for winning. Let's say Poker Dollars. I think that's what it is. Poker Pounds now? Poker Pounds! Brexit means Brexit. Well, that was a shock. I guess I know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Thank God you didn't. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? Cheers, geez. Hi, Matthew, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favour to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you've got to take me on the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. That is an English expression. I enjoy it. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Matthew. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data. You know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Matthew. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably be better go tell you'd probably better go tell your mum that we're heading out though. Alright. I do not like this sock hat. I do not like this sock hat at all. My jeans are too tight as well. I'm not a big tight jeans wearer. They're quite tight. I feel like they would not not to be comfortable, but people do wear tight jeans in this country. It's accurate. Matthew, did you hear that just now? I really like his jacket. I want to swap jackets. His jacket's much nicer than mine. The gate's open and the Wooloo that was there... Oh no! Runaway sheep. I want to save the sheep's life. I think I've told this story on the channel before. Maybe I'll tell it next time. Who knows? It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember that the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Matthew, what do you say? We've got to save it. Right, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. For sure. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Matthew. This is so quintessentially British that I have genuinely climbed a fence into a farm to save a lamb's life in my actual life before. Game Freak, get out of my head, alright? Stop following me. We're going to end it here. We're going to save the sheep next. Look at the Wooloo in the background. He's going nuts. He loves it. He apps. He's mad for it. He's going back. He is mad for it. Anyway, I'm, I'm far too excited. It's a bit more mountainous than real Britain, but we'll ignore that. I'll be back uh, tomorrow with the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I don't know. I'm very excited. I'm probably going to be in these same clothes recording for the next like three hours. So the next few episodes might be looking very much like this. Uh, I will be recording in bullock in advance because I just want to play the game. So uh, I can't necessarily respond to comments in the videos. But if you have shown support on this, then thank you. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much for looking around with me. And I'll catch you again next time.